Hey everyone, so since I'm kind of behind on videos lately, I'm going to go ahead and do my character breakdown thoughts videos, and I'm going to start putting the three characters in one video. So this video is going to be about Dark Side, Green Arrow, and Green Lantern, because I haven't done my thoughts on those characters' gameplay yet. Um, I'm going to watch the gameplay videos, and then I'm just going to give my thoughts on whatever year they showed. I'm not going to go too into depth about the year, but I'm going to give my thoughts on what they showed for the characters. And I'll be doing one for uh, Joker, Brainiac, Black Adam, and then Aquaman and Cyborg, which they showed today. And they showed some mobile gameplay, multiverse gameplay, all this stuff lately. So, uh, we've gotten so much just within a little over a week. Gameplay wise, the game comes out Tuesday. I'll have it Monday night um, because GameStop is doing a release. But um, I will not be posting any gameplay just so I don't get in trouble since I already have a copyright strike. Um, I won't be posting gameplay until probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and I don't know I'm going to do the story yet, but I'm going to stream it. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to watch the Dark Side Breakdown. And this is on Super's channel, so I'll put the links to the videos in the description as always. So, let's get started. Play Dark Side. Yeah. He is basically the feel of a boss character, but balanced to be a player character. Okay, so he's basically a balanced character, but a lot of people that have got to play him already. I said he's like a boss character. So it's cool that he's got like that balance that makes him playable and then not too overpowered. Uh alright, let's continue. And here we see his pair of demons right, so which he's very reliant yeah, on. He, um, he's the master of the Omega Beam, which are extremely powerful eye lasers. So his eye lasers, something I learned about them the lasers that he uses, um, you can you can control them and track your opponent basically with them, from my understanding. And they never miss. They can zigzag around and they'll catch the opponent. Kind of like Zod in a sense, um, because he has his arms behind his back basically, he uses his lasers to game to his gameplay and his pair of they are high, straight one, right? So the opponent can duck it, but they don't have a lot of time to advance even when they duck it. They are very, very good uh, projectile moves. Now with meter burn, you can actually control them. His meter burn laser is pretty good. Straight one and hold down and only down. Yep. My bad. My bad. Uh, there we go. Sorry. Wait, all right. All right. So. Or you can do the anti uh, anti do the anti air one. Oh. And you can aim down. You can, yes. There you go. So you're almost kind of like drawing that out. Right? You are. Yeah. <coughs> uh, all right. So he's got his little mega beam. But what else does he? Well, he also has his palm strike, which okay. is a great combo ender. So he does do a little bit of hand to hand stuff, but not much. Teleport in different ways as well. Right out as he's landing, he can go in any of his jump attacks. So it's a very good strategy. If the opponent is ducking or trying to jump in and they're that trying to get cool. past the beams, you can all of a sudden get right next to them and then start attacking. You can teleport and throw, or teleport and sweep. Right throw. And then he has his air stop, 
which is actually a jumping low special move. So even though it's an air attack, it's not an overhead. It's a low. They have to block low. And you can, again, do it straight out of teleport. So you have a ready-made mix oh, of uh, cool. teleport into a jump attack or teleport to the air stop. And that's while the opponent is trying to deal with the Omega Beam. It's a, it's a very simple, straightforward tactic that's always going to be effective. Right. Tyler, you picked up Dark Side. I have a Dark Side. Dark side. There's Definitely going to be interesting. I don't know if he's going to be someone I really play, but I'm going to definitely post some games with him and try him out. But he's got a very interesting place though. Like, it's similar to Zod, yet it's different too. Which I really like. So it appears that he can summon his and they will hit you. Um, so that's interesting. Those are going to be interesting to play around with. As far as Dark Side goes. So, Darkseid's super move, when he activates it, his lasers track you and push you into, like, a giant hand that is Darkseid's that pulls you from, um, where he pushed you into. So, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, like I said, I don't really know. There's not much that I really can say about Darkseid, other than he's definitely interesting. Uh, but we're going to finish watching this video, and then I'm going to move on to, I think, Green Lantern was next. Well, it doesn't matter which order we go in. But, um, I'm talking about all three in this video, so it doesn't matter. How does the action speed work? And the trick is, you control it. As soon as you do it, Tyler actually gets to control the game. Try and draw something fun. I could be wrong. Okay, we'll do it. So you can go up, you can go down, you can go back, you can completely circle around. As long as it's active, you have free control of movement. So there is no escape. It's the ultimate zoning tool. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. There you go. Uh, that's, that yeah. was crazy. But I missed. Yeah. <laughs> but, right, right. But yeah, you can do crazy stuff, but it's really cool. Yeah. He also has a, really, a lot of really cool string things. He does, program. and his strings use the Omega Beams, even his normal attacks. So you can kind of show some. My favorite is, obviously, I like doing this. Uh, uh -oh. Also, nice grab. So he has this grab where he picks you up and shoots lasers at you. It's like. So I would say the key ones are a uh, back light attack. is a very quick overhead. He does not have a low launcher, but he does have uh, some pretty decent bows to complement it, like his low laser or his sweep. He also has four, two, three, which is a. Also, this video might be a tad bit long, but. Um, as I said, I'm talking about three different has, characters in this video, so... Yeah, like one, one, two, which ends in a power blast. Or one, two, one plus three, which is really throw. I really like it. Switch stances. Yeah, switch stances. Right. Right. Yeah. His basic attacks are... They're pretty much just brute power and the Omega Beams. He's, he's not really uh, an up-close and personal uh, brawler. He, he is meant to be played from a distance, and when he gets in, he does a lot of damage. He pushes you out, and he goes back to playing his Omega Beams. One thing I really like, too, is his back... Uh, 
So basically, Dark Side's not an in-your-face type character, which is kind of good. Alright, so we're going to show some little gear for him, and then we're going to move on to one of the other characters I did Green Lantern on. Green Lantern. Alright, so, the first one we gave is Hate Slate, which normally you have 2, 2, 1, plus 3. So, this gear loadout, he has like, he has like this gold set of gear, which is interesting. Um, and he has some special grab. You can start combos with it. Or like I said, you can extend your combo with it. So it basically just turns one of his better combos into an even better combo start. Look at that. And then we gave him, instead of his anti-air beam, he gets reverse beams. He will actually turn around and hit you for five. So he has reverse beams where he can turn around and he can hit you from behind, which is interesting. Um, and that's the ability that this uh, gear set gives him, basically. So this, this gear gives him. The away oh, so this gear gives him the ability to teleport away from the opponent, so you don't have to be close to them at all. Really. Because that's where he wants to wait. We're, we're showing the secret look at the three arrows. That's true. You get notice that you don't care. And you can do this in the air. All right. And just like normally, you can attack out of it. So this will keep the opponent guessing. They don't know if you're going to teleport in. So basically that was Dark Side, um, and I will put the link in the description to the Dark Side video. With that being said, we're gonna move on to uh, one of the other videos. But I like Dark Side; he's pretty interesting. Um, as I said, he probably will not be a main for me, but he is definitely um, one that I'm interested in trying. So that being said, let me see if I can find the other videos. Um, let's see, we're looking for here's Green Lantern. So we're just gonna go ahead and watch the Green Lantern one. So this is also on Super's channel, so all the links will be going to his videos because he posts the gameplay. Yeah. Okay, so hey, you're Green Lantern. Right, so Green So basically, Green Lantern has the same combos, according to Steve Brownback, who's the Q and A analyst at Another Realm now. Um, he has the same gameplay style, but more advanced, basically, and with some new changes. Lantern's mine is back, and you can still meter burn it to be the main combo starter. You have to have that. 
and then every other special move, brand new attack. Cool. So let's go over. Let's so all his special moves are new, which is good. Um, he has good. some better special moves. All right. So let's start with bold over, which is a spike bowling ball. It's a low, That's very fast cool. moving projectile with great recovery. So he has this bowling ball that he can throw. It's like spike. That's Tell pretty cool. Me That's pretty cool. And you can do the meter burn in the air as well. Then he gets this explode, exploding lantern. I don't remember what it's called. Battery bomb. Battery bomb. Where and you can control this. There's a close, a medium, and a far. And this is a relative. So he also has a battery bomb, bomb thing that he can hit you with. So you don't need meter burn. You can. Which explodes when you yeah. use it and try to hit the opponent with it, it explodes. Uh, so that's Everything interesting a as well. So this is a great screen control move that's totally going to regulate the speed. You can use the fireballs to the opponent, I can't do anything, and then you put up the battery. That was the truck talking to the next Yeah, right, we know. Right, we, right, know right. we know what that was. Okay. And then finally, he has willpower wall. And this will actually nullify projectiles. And it is an excellent wake up attack. If you can meter burn it, so he has his wall power wall thing wall again, wall. but it's a, it, is truly it can be used attack. to block very, things. It's very, very hard time. to jump over. It's advantageous on block. It's an excellent get off me tool, and it knocks far away. So if your opponent knocks you down, you know, flash starts to mix up, you get off me, and then you go back to your projectile. Who's your gameplay changed for that? His gameplay's changed a lot. Up close, he still is a great control game character. He still controls like this mid range, but now from a distance, he's even better at the keep away game than he was in the original. Awesome. Now his character power. So he's basically a mid range and a kind of distance character because he has some good attacks from far away and some good mid mid range attacks as well, like he did in the first game. He's returning. It's the ring power, and this adds a damage buff to all of his attacks, and it actually enhances some of the special moves. For example, his normal fireball you can see is speed. When he has the character power, character power active, he can make it go faster or slower. Look at that slow one. That's a little guy. Yeah, and then you can do at any speed you want. So you can do fast or slow. Hmm. And that works in the air as well. Interesting. It also makes bold over a combo speed. Ooh. His gameplay is far better though than the first game, I do have to say. He has the same character power trait though, with the, where you, you can activate the ring, and it just basically enhances his attacks. So he has better mobility this time too, that's dash good. Is so if he's having trouble, you know, closing the gap because they have even better zoning, he can now actually get in a lot easier than he could be Awesome. So right. you want to look at some loadouts? Let's right. do that. Whoa, it's super move? Oh, I forgot. Right. It's a good one. Let's do this. Okay, so for his super move, he summons his, these giant robo type feet, and it's like a giant green robot that he uses to attack you and the ending to it is a giant beam um, but it's a very interesting super move uh, I think it's better than his last one and now they're showing a couple of the 
lot of things, and there's some things we want you guys to be surprised by. Like, oh, that's things. interesting. No. Yeah, we do. In this uh, loadout, Green Lantern has been corrupted by rage. He is given in to his inner So he has a Red Lantern lately. gear set, oh, okay. which is pretty cool. Red. It looks pretty that's cool. Why he's red. Also, Dexter, and, and it does he change the red. color of the constructs so to red, red so... Lantern, nope. And I gave him, and you can like all the different colored shaders and stuff changes all and his constructs to that color. Oh, so the first ability I gave him replaces his character power. And, instead, and he has he an ability Once this is active, and it has him cool down, where he can less activate this bubble thingy very, very that, so, that will allow him to take less damage. That's interesting. But this gear set looks pretty cool. So if you're Derek, and all you do is wake up attacks and jump in, you can turn this on, and you can go YOLO, and if you get punished for it, you're barely going to take any damage. I think YOLO Yeah. Cool. So, another thing is, you'll notice, a lot of the good stuff requires meter. So, he has quick charge, where the lantern will actually appear, and it'll start charging, and you can see, he's building super meter. Oh. And you can stop this at any time. So, if you're playing a match, and you keep the opponent out, and the opponent's like, well, you know what? I have a projectile reflex or something. I, I'm not going to come in. Well, then you're building meter. What now? Yeah, right. Come get me. Come get him. So, I mean, that's another, maybe another weakness of this uh, lantern is a lot of this stuff does require meter. It does. Really yeah, he's to go in full. Right. He either needs his character power or meter to be So, this is another example of how they complement each other. Since he won't have the enhanced lantern find to be using this, he can then use meter for pop ups by using quick jump. <laughs> He's definitely interesting. Um, <laughs> his gameplay is much better. Oh, oh. that's cool. So it even changes the color of his robot um, according to the gear that he's wearing. So, like, if you have the Red Lantern gear required, you, it changes the giant robot to red. Oh, we haven't just got rid of them. They're still available at like the building. So you can see the original O is rocket is there. Oh, and it has the same properties. It's extremely looks like, quick. Okay, this looks like blue lantern gear. And then go into a combo. And I also or a possible shader. So, and this gives him his rocket yeah. ability thing. That his gun that really he had in the first away, game. Sure uh, it again. looks a lot more powerful though. Uh, and of course you can mix it that's in. interesting. You can have Lantern's Barrier mixed with Air Owen's Rocket. You could have regular Air Battery Blast mixed with Lantern's Rocket. That's all I'll say for the gear because I didn't want to really go really in depth about it because I'm going to put the videos in the description anyway. But Green Lantern, right. far better than the well, first game. He looks far better uh, than the first game. Uh, so I may, may or not try him out. I do want to get gear for like all the characters. So... I will be grinding to get gear. Um, so we're gonna go find the Green Arrow video. Um, let's see. Here it is. Okay, we are moving on to Green Lantern. Not Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Um, but yeah, Green Lantern looks far better than the first game. So I will give him a try. Use the ad. Alright, here we go. Green Arrow in the original was kind of the annoying Nat type character. Like, he played a lot of keep out. He, he, well, he's very irritating in the fight. He was a great hit and run character. But I think one of his major issues is he didn't really do a lot of damage. So that's something we look to change in this game. So, for example, his Hurricane Bow is back. But now it has a meter burn. And it'll actually knock the opponent up. And he can combo. So he basically plays the same, but uh, he's got some new things in there. And he still retains some of his best keep up moves. He still has the Savage Blast. His arrows are still very, very quick. And you can actually. Oh, uh, we'll wait till we get to that. Right, right. right. Okay, sorry. The other new thing, he looks slightly faster the other than in the first game as well. He no longer has the blade on his bow, so some of his normal attacks have changed. His 1-1-1 has a new animation, new properties, and the big one is his back two. His back two 
used to be a really short range overhead, and now it's this long range mid, and it has three hits. So he plays the same, but it looks, it just looks better, in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> there's the electrifying arrows. The electricity based arrows that he has. He still has those. He has his hurricane arrows. Um, he has his ice arrows as well. So his character power is still the same. He can use the different arrows. Oh, he has a fire arrow. <laughs> The other thing about That's his cool. character power is when you held the arrow in the original, it was kind of limited about what you could do. So there's a couple new things. Number one, you could dash forward and back. So while he's holding it, he has free mobility. He can, he can oh, so he can actually down, move while he uses his character he power arrows. You can also put um, the arrow away. Oh, so let's That's say you have cool. a nice arrow in there. And you're holding it, you're thinking about using it. You decide not to. You can actually put it away, and you'll see in the UI, it's still available. And the next time you use an arrow, it will be the ice arrow. Uh, how, how do you put it away? Very nice. And then he also has a new arrow type, which is the meter bird arrow, and it's, I'm so happy with this, boxing glove arrow. Oh, oh his, so his meter burnt arrow is the boxing glove happen. arrow. That's cool. And boxing, I love that. boxing glove arrow is basically the best arrow. It does a ton of damage. It's super fast. It does a lot of damage, too. It's not so like, far back. It's a oh, wow. on block. It's, it's, it's yeah, it does a lot of damage. You, you <laughs> it takes like a good portion of your health away. That's actually pretty awesome. Projectiles. Maybe, maybe you're getting zoned out. No one's going to win a projectile trade against this. How's about <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Really cool. And we also should show a throw, which is great. Well, he has a nice throw, too. He throws you and shoots his arrows. Like, like kind of when he, like, stomps you with his foot and he, like, hits people with arrows on the TV show. Um... Obviously, he probably, he does that anyway, but uh, that's actually pretty cool. I, I like that. So. Yeah, well, we don't have the show. We don't have the show. So that's, I mean, like we always do, these characters are not done yet. They're done? No, they're, they're, they're not on disc. There. We are finishing this game, and the DLC is being worked on as we speak. So we, I will say this. Very, very cool. Um, we'll um, so I know they showed some red arrow screen. gear right. in the stream. So I do like that they have that, although a lot of people would prefer it to be a premier skin. Most of what made him a good character in the original, but now he'll have better rewards when he actually gets hit going, and even more better mobility options when he has his arrows. So he has better mobility options this time, but he has the same gameplay and a boxing glove arrow. Absolutely, which you both like to always do. So I'm curious what this red arrow gear gives him as an ability. I didn't watch the whole video. Alright, so um, for this loadout, we went with the... Oh, really cool gear. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. Wow. Truck the cab. The, the tac this is what I would call tactical green arrow when he's on military-esque missions. I have four for every one of my loadouts. You have to just say military-esque missions. Yeah. You say military missions. Well, he's a superhero, not a soldier. Well, so he goes on military-esque uh, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Okay. Don't argue with <laughs> <laughs> So this ability I have replaces boxing glove arrow with bola arrow. And that will... Up, oh, that's cool. So he has an ability where he needs his arrow that ties you up instead of his boxing glove arrow. Kind of like a bat girl can do. Um, with one of her abilities. That's cool. I really like that it changes the color. To Meaning how much uh, time Green Arrow has before the opponent can move. So like when you hit him, he's in what's called hit stun, where you can see Dark Side. Ah, uh, he's stumbling back, and Green Arrow can move for four. Can, can we get on to the? Can we get on camera? That looks actually cool. That, uh, I really like that. That. Dark side that. Uh, uh, that is hit stun. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's how we explain it. That's how it's hit stun. Nice. Um, were there any uh, other returning moves that you wanted to talk about? I think you only hit like the bullet thing and. Um, he has his anti-air arrow, right? He has stingers back, and you can 
still meter burn it. It's a great wake up attack. Good low overhead. Yeah, it's a good low overhead. It leaves him an advantageous. Okay. And this, the, the arrow here, you need to make it block, right? Correct. Because this one is so powerful and has so much potential, it takes up two slots. So you're giving up your boxing glove arrow, and you're giving up a chance of another ability for a really, really, really powerful ability. Yeah, that's oh, wow. pretty awesome. Yeah. So then let's look at that's another cool. loadout. Okay, so showing another loadout. And for this one, I went with kind of a high mobility arrow. Oh. Loadout. So one, it's space control. He has Skype. So he has a yellow colored, like Robin Hood looking gear set. And you can also do a meter burst one. Three of one. Oh, that's so let's say you're full screen. So his arrows you can then explode. Do the Skyler. It'll follow where the opponent is and then you can do it. And when he shoots them, they explode. That's pretty cool. That's his ability for this gear set. And then later slides under him. Just to let him know you can hit him if you want to do the damage. I'm really liking the gear so far in the game. Um, and you'll instantly teleport to what the opponent is. I actually even want gear for characters I don't like that much. It's pretty powerful. So if you're having trouble getting in, and you're just not doing enough damage with your arrows, many times you can come in, start your mix up, the opponent's got to respect it. Alright. And that lets you start doing your Skyle. So these two are both one slot moves that complement each other. And there's many, many other type of loadouts depending on how you like to play the game. Alright. Well, Very nice. Yeah, I know, it's really good, right? Um Alright, so that was the dark side green arrow and green lantern breakdown video videos from the stream. So I really enjoyed all three of them. I will definitely be playing Green Arrow this time uh a lot more so than the first game i really like uh his different arrows and his boxing gloves and all that uh, his gear sets i like the red arrow one uh green lantern i might try out because he has some interesting gear as well and so does dark sides so i really like them i'll give them all three a try and my next video is going to be on joker brainiac and black adam and i'm going to do aquaman cyborg um and the joker brainiac and black adam Stream. They also showed mobile game gameplay, mobile game gameplay, but I'm not really gonna go into that because I'm just playing it on my phone. Uh, we basically know how it is. You can actually do like little combos in the game, and it is out now on Google Play for Android and on iOS Store for free. So there's that. I will try to put the links to those in the description, but if not, you'll have the links to these videos. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed all three of them, so I'll definitely be trying them out. Uh, and the breakdowns were awesome. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.